hello friends today in this tutorial I, I will be showing you that how to convert csv files into html and pdf documents inside browser using node.js and express and for this we will be using this dependency or module uh, node.js module which lets you do this csv converter to html and pdf so many a times you need to convert your csv files which is kind of a table file in order to in to html and pdf so basically i will be showing you how to do this so first of all guys i will show you the demo so you will see this is the file here let me show you uh, this is where our our file users.csv you can see name.h let me add another column third column country and uh, new zealand and uh, let me add uh, david 24 australia so now we have three columns and two rows so now if i want to convert this i will simply write node index.js so you will see html created with success and compiling the template with handlebars so now you will see two files are created first is html file which contains it's a html table it has converted it to so first of all it converts the csv file to the html table and now after that it converts to the uh, pdf document so it's very easy guys first of all it converts to html table and then it converts html to pdf so this is a pdf here you will see name age country so you can add as many columns as you want inside your csv file so this is very easy way guys you can do this inside node.js and simple javascript so let me just show you this demo from scratch so all the source code regarding this application will be there inside video description i have written a complete blog post on my website this is the blog post step by step instructions is given so let me start this application let me go to the projects folder and uh, make a new directory here which is csv to html pdf i will go into this directory and uh, i will open this inside uh, my visual studio code text editor so we can make uh, npm init dash y so this will create empty package.json file after that we can install our dependency which is csv to html and pdf so i think this is a dependency so if you just see oh sorry this is not let me npm i csv dash converter to html pdf so this is actual dependency sorry this is not again i have made a mistake and dash so it's a quite a long name for a library so now let me not just copy this command here and paste it This is actual PDF is coming first here. That is why it was not. So it is just installing it. So just wait, guys. It takes some time to install. Depending upon your computer state speed, it will take time. So just wait. So now it has successfully installed it guys so now we can create index.js file so so it has given a complete example here so basically we can copy this example paste it so first of all it is importing the library you will see inside the first line then we are importing the path library of node.js which is a built-in dependency and we are invoking this dependency by using new construct a new converter and here we need to in the root directory we need to create users.csv file and then we can just have the entries here so now we have the csv file so so now we can run this so simply we can say node index.js so it will create the html file here guys first of all and then it will create the pdf file so this is our table and uh, after that it has also created our pdf file 
you see this is our PDF you can open this inside Google Chrome so you can see that so in this easy way guys you can do do this so I think we can do uh, convert this application to a express application so it will take hardly a second so we can require express we can make a new app we can listen on port number uh, 5000 and we can say app is listening on uh, So for now we can uncomment this code here so just comment this code so we can make a route here get request when we load the page for the very first time we can say request response so response dot send file we can say we can load a file here which is uh, so we can create this file in the root directory index.html so this will contain a simple form here guys so method will be simply post as we are submitting data action will be simply convert slash convert and inside this guys we will have our uh, we will be expecting a file input type file and uh, the name will be csv that's it so after that guys we will have a simple button to convert to pdf convert to uh, HTML or convert to PDF because we are just making uh, one converter at once so let me just show so after that guys what we can do we can make first of all we need to install Express so npm i express And we can also install Malter dependency in order to upload files inside our server. So right here, you can just make uploads direct uh, public slash inside public. You will have uploads. So where you will store all the CSV files which you upload. So now we can start this application. So app is listening on port 5000. So now we can import our uh, Malter dependency. So we can require this. So after that guys we also need to uh, require our after that we need to make this directory which is public slash upload static directory. For this we can say app dot use express that static and then we can pass the path public slash uploads that's it. And then we can make this post request guys app dot post slash convert request response and here first of all guys we need to upload the csv file which is coming so for this we need to make some kind of middleware function so first of all we need to configure malter so just write here malter include extension and the very first result which comes in this clicks this stack overflow and you will get all this so simply you need to paste this code here after app so all the source code will be there inside video description so don't worry I have given this source code in the video description public uploads because we are saving it inside this directory so we are changing the address here after that we are initializing it to upload and for now we are only expecting a single file so we can provide the name attribute which we had given which is csv that's it so now we can upload this file so upload request response and if any sort of error take place we can say if error take place then we can say console log error if no error take place then we can print the path of the file which is uploaded by request.file.path so now we can launch this application guys so if I try to upload a CSV file here if I go to localhost 5000 so if I try to upload it uh, if I 
I can download a CSV file from the internet. Download CSV file. These are very long files. So this is the file here. Simply cut and inside downloads, I can paste this file. Mm, let me download a simple CSV file. Click download. So now we can upload this file. So let me go it. Go to downloads folder. Simply upload, convert to PDF and it is saying cannot read property or path request.file.path so it hasn't uploaded it let me see why it has hasn't i think you need to move this line a little bit upwards here like this just move it above this and once again do this let me see guys i think this error is coming because we haven't provided a encoding type here so whenever we upload files we need to provide this multi-part form data so just add this attribute i think this will solve the problem so node index.js so sorry let me a node mon so whenever you upload files you need to provide that encoding type so if I try to and now you will see no, uh, uh, path is uploaded here file is uploaded and printing the path here so this is our file here so now we need to convert this to a PDF document it is very easy so now we have got the file so now we can use the library here simply I will uh, make a, a separate function here which is or I can simply copy paste this code simply I will move this code inside our post request in this else block paste it and instead of this we will pass our file request.file.path and after that guys you need to uh, HTML and PDF so here we need to give the output file name so the output file name will be simple output date dot now and then output dot csv uh, i think we don't need to give extension here simply give output so here we just need to pass here dot slash output that's it So now guys we can start this application if I try to upload this CSV file hopefully it should create HTML and the PDF file for us in the root directory. So now you will see that guys it is converting HTML created and PDF is also created. So you will see that guys it has created this file. You will see this is our table this is i think i think this is one this is the table here you can see it has converted firstly to the html table and you can also find out the if you open this inside the root direct uh, file explorer this is our pdf so now we simply need to have a way by which we can download this pdf file as an attachment so Express allows us to do this. So we have a function here which simply downloads this file as attachment. So response.download and here we can pass the output and then we can just have CSV file. That's it. And then it's a callback function when the file is successfully downloaded. That's it. 
and now we can restart this application guys so again let me try to upload a csv file convert so it is creating this compiling this file here so just wait So you can see it has successfully created this PDF file guys so I think it I think it doesn't allow any callback function so you can see it is created that file but it let me say if it contains a promise I think this is promise based so we can say dot then So here we can say response dot download. Output dot CSV. So let me see if it is working or not. So the PDF files and uh, HTML files are uh, created. So it is just the case by which we can download it inside the browser itself. So you can also do it by yourself also if I don't able to do this. So you can do this on yourself guys. So I have I will be providing all the source code in the video description. So if it, you can see all the PDF files and HTML files are being created. So if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.